Speaking of charming, chaotic, unpredictable women. <laughs> Hey pals, Alicia here. I hope you are doing well. And if you're new here, this is the place where we talk about books. Today I'm here to show you the books that I plan to read in the month of February. Normally for my TBRs, I play a bit of a TBR game where I roll a d20 to help me, you know, pick the books from my shelf. However, as you will find out in my January wrap up, I did not read a single book that I had set aside for myself for January because a chaotic mood reading energy consumed my soul in January. So I was just reading whatever, whatever the heck ever, when, whenever, whenever the heck I felt like it. And I really, I really enjoyed that. And I kind of want to embrace that energy again for February. So I originally thought I wasn't even going to do a TBR video at all, but there are some books that are just kind of calling to me either for buddy reads or just there are some books that I really would like to read in February. And then, you know, we're just gonna, we're just gonna play it by ear, see what, see what Alicia gets up to uh, as the month as the month goes along. So I have a stack of about nine books right here that for one reason or another are just really calling to me right now. Some of them are pulled from my five star predictions list. Some of them are pulled from my if you got it read it challenge list. And then some of them are just screaming at me, read me. So without further ado, let's just dive in and chat about some books that I will hopefully read in February. First up, we've got Out by Natsuo Karino. And if there is one book on this list that I am committed to reading in February, it is this one. Not only is this one of my five star predictions, it's also on my If You Got It, Read It TBR. It's also a buddy read that I will be reading with AV. So February is the month, it's gonna happen. We're finally gonna read Out. Out is one of the oldest books on my TBR and I have no idea why I haven't read it yet. This is a Japanese thriller about a group of housewives who band together and exact each other's revenges. Revenge story, ladies exacting revenge, just sounds thrilling, just sounds excellent. I've heard that this is like a cult classic masterpiece. I have heard nothing but great things about Out and I am really hyped. I'm really hyped to read this in February. Next up, we've got The Indifferent Stars Above by Daniel James Brown. This is a historical nonfiction that is about the harrowing saga of the Donner Party. This was originally on my January TBR. I was meant to read this as a buddy read with Geraldine Reads. However, we didn't get to it uh, yet in January. We read The Hunger by Alma Katsu instead and then are going to read this one next. I am really excited to read the nonfiction historical account of the Donner Party. I'm really interested in this storyline right now. So hopefully we can read this together in February. Another book I am really hyped to read is Pizza Girl by Jean Kyung Frazier. This is a 2020 release and this is a contemporary story about an 18 year old pregnant pizza delivery girl just trying to make her way in LA, trying to figure out her life. She's described as a charming, unpredictable, dysfunctional uh, human being and I just Feel like I can relate to that. I have heard nothing but good things about this. Uh, Sunny from A Sunny Book Nook really loved it. Sean from Pastory Time really loved this and I really uh, value and trust both of their opinions. So I want to read... I want to read Pizza Girl. Speaking of charming, chaotic, unpredictable women, I would also like to read Eileen by Atessa Moshfeg in 
February. I have not read anything by Tessa Moshfag yet and I believe that Eileen is not only her debut but this is also the storyline of hers that has really kind of pulled to me the most. This is set in like a wintry landscape which just sounds perfect for now. This is following a young woman who is at this kind of crisis in her life where she's looking for change, she's looking for something new. She begins a friendship with a woman I believe that takes some sort of strange and bizarre twist. I have heard great things about Mosh Fag's work and I am excited to finally dive in to her and figure out, what, figure out what's going on with Eileen. Let me know if you've read this one and uh, if you think it's great <laughs> because I want to read it. Another genre that I have been really just eating up lately has been Japanese contemporary. I just find Japanese contemporaries really kind of com comforting, uh, melancholy, uh, sweet, sad, beautifully written, and a book that I have had on my radar for a while and finally got my hands on is Kitchen by Banana Yoshimoto. This is a Japanese contemporary classic. This is following a group of women who have formed this sort of makeshift family together. There are conversations of family, of loss, of motherhood, of grief and I have been so curious about Kitchen for a while and it's really it's a really short short little uh story and I'm expecting big feelings big feelings from Kitchen let me know if you read this one too because I uh I really can't wait I can't wait another book that has been screaming at me for the last little while and whom I also have Sunny to thank for this one is Fortune Favors the Dead by Stephen Spotswood this is a 2020 release, but it's kind of based off of that hard-boiled detective noir classic vibe. This is set in the 40s. We are following a private investigator named Lillian, and then also a circus knife-throwing runaway named Willow Jean, and they partner up together to solve a murder set in the 40s and I believe there's like a queer romance here and this just sounds so sweet so fun Sunny just talked about this with such fondness and I'm just really I'm just really into a little uh, detective mystery with some with some queer vibes as well I think that this one is going to be a nice a nice little treat Next up, we've got We Ride Upon Sticks by Quan Berry. This is a 2020 release. This is also on my If You Got It, Read It, uh, TBR, trying to check off books from that list where I can. This was a 2020 release, It is, but it is set in the 80s. We are set in Massachusetts. And we are following a group of teenage girls who play field hockey and practice witchcraft. That sounds amazing. Don't want to know anything else. Can't wait to dive into this one. This one uh, was floating around booktube a lot last year. I heard pretty mixed things about it, which just makes me really uh, interested to go in and see where, where I align. <laughs> and uh, fun fact, the only two team sport I ever played when I was growing up was field hockey. So it's the only, that's the only sport I ever did. <laughs> Next up, another book I'd really like to read in February is Empire of Wild by Cherie Demoline. This is a 2019 release and I originally had this book on my Indigathon TBR back in November. This was, I think this was the one book that I didn't get to that month. So it's really been, it's been staring at me ever since then. And this is a contemporary story. We are set in a Métis community and this is like a magical contemporary kind of retelling of the Rogaru uh, lore. I am really curious about this one. I haven't read anything by Cherie Dumoulin yet, but I also have the Marrow Thieves by her on my TBR and yeah, I am really curious about this one and I'm hoping to get to it soon.
much. And finally, the last book that I have earmarked for February is The Nickel Boys by Colson Whitehead. This is a 2019 release. This is one of my five star prediction books, so I'm really excited to get to this one soon. Uh, this is a historical fiction novel. We are set in the 1960s and we are following two uh, black boys who get brought to the Nickel Academy. And the Nickel Academy it was this uh, reform school that was charged with like turning delinquent children into honorable honorable young men or turning delinquent boys into honorable young men. It was basically this horrible institution where ch children were physically and mentally, possibly even sexually abused. And this institution was a real place. It was in practice for I think around a hundred years. And I have not read anything by Colson Whitehead yet. So I'm really curious to dive into this and check out his writing. So there you have it, pals. There's a stack of books that I would really like to read in February. I, I have to admit, I don't know if I'm actually going to be able to read all of these, but I'm definitely going to try. We're going to see where the mood takes me. I just, I found the idea of making a TBR really challenging this month, but I also wanted to check in and I also wanted to talk to you. I love talking to you all about books, so I thought I'd try. We're just we're just here to try, pals. So let me know if you've read any of these books and what you thought. Let me know if you want to read any of these books and maybe we can read them together in February. So thanks again for being here, pals. I just absolutely love talking about books with you all, checking in with you all, seeing how you are. Let me know what your reading plans are for February. I would love to know what you guys are really excited to read. So take care out there. Stay safe. Stay spooky. And until next time, see you pals. <laughs>